Have you ever wondered why your content isn't paying the bills? Trust me, <laughs> I've been there. In this video, I'm going to be telling you all my mistakes. <laughs> Particularly, I'll be sharing five costly mistakes I made as a content creator that kept me broke for a long time. If you are ready to start earning the income you deserve from your content, you most definitely do not want to miss any part in this video. So first of all, if you're just coming across this channel for the first time, hey there, my name is Benny and I'm a business coach. I help ambitious Christians unlock financial freedom by starting profitable coaching businesses. The first mistake that I was making as a content creator that was keeping me broke for years is that I was making content for myself. <laughs> So basically, I wasn't thinking about other people when I was creating my content. Instead of finding out what other people needed and putting out content that aligned with those needs, I was focused on what I wanted to make. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with this if content creation is a passion project of yours. But if it's something that you hope to monetize and you hope to make money from it, then you cannot afford to be selfish. You have to find the intersection between what you're passionate about, what you're actually good at, and what people are in need of or what people want. The second mistake that I was making as a content creator that kept me broke for years was honestly not niching down. I know you do not want to hear this. I know a lot of people are like, ditch the niche, don't ditch the niche <laughs> for a long period of time longer than i'm willing to admit i was creating generalized content and basically what that means is i do not have a target audience i was creating for anyone and everyone when people would ask me oh well, who is your content for i'm like everyone <laughs> boy i was in over my head because if you're trying to please everyone you end up pleasing no one if you're talking to everyone you're talking to nobody if you're trying to serve every single person then you are serving absolutely no one please don't be like me don't make the mistakes that i made and don't listen to those gurus that will tell you don't niche down just express yourself no if you do that you will experience very 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 slow growth guys please don't get me wrong i'm not saying that if you don't have a niche then you are doomed no the way i consider niching is a little bit different from the status quo however i would be lying to you if i did not tell you that niching in some way or using some strategy to niche was actually very important if you do not want to niche no problem <laughs> Do what you want without any crazy expectations because you would be disappointed. When I started creating content on this channel, I did vlogs, I did like social commentary. I've archived all of those videos now. However, at the time, even though I wanted to do vlogs, there was a way that I could tailor my vlogs to reach a specific kind of audience that would have had way more impact than it did. The third mistake that I was making as a content creator that was keeping me broke as a joke is that I was focusing on the wrong metrics. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> guys i was more focused on going viral that i did not know that there is such a thing as empty views let me tell you a little secret you can actually go viral and it doesn't mean anything guys if you go viral on the wrong kind of content that does not speak to the specific target audience that you're trying to reach then basically the wrong people would be viewing that piece of content and the wrong people would be subscribing i cannot tell you how many times i've seen this happen on these social media streets where someone would go viral on a topic that they normally do not talk about and then after going viral they have all these subscribers and all these views and they can't replicate their success because that is not the content they would typically put out and now they have nothing to say on that topic again and so every other piece of content after the viral video is like 20 views unfortunately it would mean that you just went viral for no reason that content would have been a complete waste the goal is not to go viral and if you must go viral go viral for a specific target audience that you were strategically trying to reach the fourth mistake that i made as a content creator that was keeping me broke was was feeling like I needed a big audience to get monetized. Oh God, please do not make this mistake. Quality trumps quantity. Repeat after me. Quality trumps 
quantity. When I started this channel, I was willing to put out any kind of content that I knew would get me views because I felt like if I hit all those numbers, then I'm going to get monetized and this social media platform will start paying me. No guys, you do not need YouTube to pay you. You do not need Instagram to pay you. You do not need TikTok or any social media platform for that matter to pay you. Your paycheck and your livelihood should not be dependent on a social media algorithm. That's very risky if you ask me. And that was one of the biggest mistakes I made. I just kept on chasing the virality, chasing the numbers because I felt like if I didn't have that, then I cannot make money off of my social media platforms. And that was a lie. Knowing what I know now, as long as you have the right customer avatar, you're in the right niche, you're talking about the right topics, then I can assure you that you will attract the right people that would be willing to do business with you regardless of your numbers and the final mistake that i made as a content creator that was keeping me broke is that i did not start my business early enough because i was focusing on virality because i was focusing on the numbers i didn't allow myself to get creative and to start thinking of other ways that i could monetize my platform it wasn't until i had reached my breaking point that god finally opened my eyes to the fact that i do not need a large audience to actually start making money from my content the moment i realized that oh my gosh it set me free and not just that it gave me a sense of purpose that was bigger than virality so don't make the mistake that i made if you're creating content on these social media streets you should have a business behind that content and to reward you for watching to this point this is a bonus point a mistake that a lot of content creators make that is keeping them broke is that they are not willing to pay money to shorten their journey guys in as much as experience is the best teacher that's what they say right i hope you know that you can actually shorten your journey by paying people that have already gotten the experience so for example when i realized that i wanted to start a coaching business i went back to school i didn't try to figure it out all on my own i studied i learned i took courses and that gave me as much information as i needed to fast track my journey guys this is the reason why people pay coaches because if this coach has already gotten the result that i want then they would know how to get there faster because they've made all the mistakes they know what not to do they know what to do and what actually works so if i pay them they will give me all the results that i want without all the pain and all the delays that they went through so if you're making this mistake stop it it doesn't have to take you 10 years to build a business as you're creating content you can actually shorten your journey by paying a coach to give your content purpose and so that you are not a slave to these social media platforms and their algorithms if you've gotten to this point i have a free gift for you so i have a challenge known as the consistent content challenge it's basically a five-day challenge where i teach you everything that you need to know about creating the right content that attracts the right people so that you can start making money from your content even with a small audience in this challenge you will get so much clarity and of course you're going to have my support throughout the challenge so click on the link in the pinned comments below or in the description box below to register see you in my next video